Hello everyone's everyone's I'm Lady T506. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time watching, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Hit subscribe make sure your notifications are on. I'm here for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood season four, the finale plus the reunion part one. So we starting off Tear. She's in rehab still and she finally realized that she has a problem. She's still mad that her friends were all in her ear, like you have a problem, you need to stop drinking. She knows that she has a problem, but she's still mad at them because they kept on telling her she has a problem. It was kind of confusing, but y'all seen what was happening. She didn't lost a little weight because, you know, she didn't stop drinking and ain't nothing else to do in rehab but to exercise. So, good for you. So, hopefully, she can keep up with her sobriety because this is all she's about. I don't know who I'm going to keep in my life as friends, but right now, I'm thinking about some of my sobriety and all that right now. I done lost a little weight. I've been exercising. So, good for you, Tierra. We have this meeting between the Get B2K Back Together meeting. And in my opinion, J Boog was bombarded with one, trying to get the group group back together. Two, Ray J being the potential new lead singer. And three, Ray J wanting to change the name from Ray 2K or B2 Ray. Now, first of all, how do you come into a meeting where you're the potential new leader and you're trying to change names? Like, they wasn't nothing. They will be something once Ray J comes on the scene. Now, I know this is wrong to say, but the last time when they tried to bring you on to make a show better, didn't go so well, it was canceled after that season. Y'all know one-on-one, -on -one, they tried to bring Ray J on. I guess they thought that that was going to bring up the popularity, and it didn't. But anyways, he thinks that, you know, now I can change names there was a lead singer who doesn't want to do it anymore. So I'm going to come in, change names, and y'all just going to deal with it. And Jay Book was like, hold up. You're not going to just downgrade what we did. We was selling, you know, out tours, you know, number one hits. We was traveling around the world. And you just making it seem like we was nothing. And if we get with you, we're going to be something. And I'm like, Ray J, well, who told you that this was a good idea to change the name of this well-known group? You know, they ain't made nothing well, but people still remember B2K. So, where we come on now, and y'all, show of hands. If somebody said the new Ray 2K video is out there, who gonna know who it is? So, I'm gonna need you to stop trying to change things around, making it seem like they wasn't nothing and they'll be something with you. We have Brooke. Now, I refuse to go into this love. It's not even a triangle no more because it's. It's Brooke, Bridget Kelly, Marcus, Booby, Keisha ain't in it. So what we in a, we in this love square or we can be a love rectangle at this time. We not going into that and her still let me in love with what she might call it. We not going to do that. But we are going to speak on when she did her showcase. Her mom was in Houston when Hurricane Harvey hit. Now, I can understand the scariness in which it was because I lived through Hurricane Harvey. I done already did my story about how inside my little bubble, my little area, I didn't know what was going on because for whatever reason, the cable company I had, they decided to cut everybody with my particular cable company off because some people's houses with a core from outside was underwater. I couldn't watch anything. My phone was not working right. So, I didn't know what was going on until, what, like, three, four days after Harvey didn't hit. And when I realized that a lot of the city was completely underwater. Now, just imagine a school. It's two stories. We have the bottom level and the top level. Water at the doggone top level of school. That's how much water. I'm getting calls from my mama every two hours. Because my uncle was calling her every two hours. It was scary. So she's dealing with that. Trying to ask her mom, do you even know how to get on a roof? <coughs> Excuse me. Because a lot of people had to get on roofs. A lot of people had to get evacuated. They were cold. They were wet. And they know, didn't know where to t take people. It got So I just found out today that one of the malls is... It has stores in it, but a lot of stores didn't close down, closed down. Don't nobody really go to that mall. Was it Greenpoint Mall? They had people staying inside of the mall. That's how bad it was. But hopefully that her mom was okay and she will be able to recover from Hurricane Harvey. 
let's get on Safari and his white party. He decided to have a white party slash concert. Everybody deserve dancing, chilling, having a good time. And Bridget confronts Booby about her being, I guess, the runner up for going to Catalina. I guess she thought that, hey, Booby like me. You know, Brooklyn chose Marcus, so he wanted to go out of Catalina with me. But he was like, we went to Catalina, we had fun, what's the big deal? But you know, she's single and ready to mingle, she, so she forgives him and he said he was funny. Safari gets on stage and Rap asks Nikki Baby for one more roll in the hay. That was the white party slash concert that Safari had. So... A.D. wants to work things out with Moniz. Moniz doesn't know if she wants to give her heart back to A.D. Because she's hurt and she doesn't want to open herself again. Hazel is mad because the way she was treated by Ray. And when people treat her like that, that's how she becomes the monster that she is. And she gets to act a certain type of way. I'm like, no, no, that's not it, Hazel. You came on this season acting like you was that girl... Coming from helicopters, wearing furs, breaking props, saying how rich you are and how everybody's poor. And nobody liked you for that. This ain't got nothing the way people was treating you. You was just acting like that because you didn't got your new little body, got your new little man. And you want to stun on these people. You could have stunned it, but not act the way you did. But Ray tells her, yeah, it was a joke at first, but you went in there and you did that thing. Like, I'm the per type of person, I'm going to push people to be greater than what they were. I still do not like or think the song was all that. And I don't see it, you know, making out into on the radio or somebody wanting to spend 99 cents on it. But hey, if Ray just going to, you know, lift her up, give her a pat on the back and say, did good girl, then, I'll, then so be it. So, lastly, we have Cisco showing up to Tierra while she's in the studio. And he still doesn't believe that she has a problem. And she said she's glad she went to rehab and it was a blessing. And, you know, what she was going through, her friends made it seem like it was more than what it was. But I'm like, really? And he tries to convince us that he, he was not cheating. Even though I believe this relationship was a fake and put together just for a storyline. We're going to roll with what they gave us. And he said he wasn't cheating. Even though he had a full on extra girlfriend. And was kissing out on her. But he says you know. Even though, you, even though I was cheating. I thought you would have called me while you was in rehab. But I wasn't cheating. Even though evidence showed otherwise. So. That last of the episode, we could have went without. We had Ray, Book going at it because the Eagles was in a way. And Ray was also oh in the wrong. Just making it seem like, okay, I'm going to come in. I'm going to change things around. And y'all just going to take it because y'all need a new lead singer. Fizz, why don't you just go solo? People still remember you for B2K. Omarion did it. I don't know how well the lead singer you are. So why don't you just do that instead of trying to bring everybody together and split the money? Go out on your own and go solo. So we have the reunion part one. Masika and Alexis, the drama. And Alexis, she's backstage. Well, I'm pregnant, everybody. And I'm pregnant by Fetty Wap. Yes, you know, he cheated on me and got, you know, Masika pregnant. But I'm pregnant now and I'm happy and proud of it. So Lulu, she's like, man... That may or may not be my baby. Shoot, you could be pregnant by Fetty and me. Who knows? But you know, I'm a little hurt because you did say that you thought you was pregnant by me. Now you turn around and get pregnant by your ex that cheated on you. Girl, what's going on with you? He didn't say that, but I'm paraphrasing on that. But Mantisique was like, I don't know why you was in so rush to see me. Well, I do know why you was in such a rush to see me. Because Fetty got several other people pregnant while he was in this so-called relationship with you. The only difference is, I was on a TV show and they weren't, so I'm going to need you to sit down somewhere. She didn't say that, but that's what I get from it. Then we had the battle of the white dress and doggone shoulder pads because Hazel, she had on like this puffy shoulder one, but Mystique, not Mystique, what was her name, Monique had one to kind of like poke out. And these two are going at it, that's why I'm calling it the battle of the shoulder pads. 
both wearing white. Hazel said something about Masika. So, you know, Monique, she has to take this time to say something. They collide. Hazel has to get escorted off the stage and say she's not coming back. Well, I guess she remembered that, you know, how she got, like, pulled off stage last time by Masika. She doesn't want Moni's and all the craziness in which is her to, you know, get double teamed by her. So, you know, she exits stage left. And they want to know what's going on. Moni's lets us know. I did say that Rose Burgundy looked like he was both 12 years old and 71 all at the same time. And maybe they went to Chuck E. Cheese together. I don't know. But I guess Hazel's like, okay, you said this about my man. Even though I was trying to get with other people's men because my mama said he was too young and immature. I'm going to whoop your tail next time I see you. And Moniz was like, okay, there's no time like the presence. And they tried to fight. But of course, you know, security broke them up and nothing happened. But she was a straight face and saying, well, I said he looked like he was 12 years old and 71 all at the same time. It's not my fault that he looks like that. That's who she chose to be with. Maybe they're at Chuck E. Cheese together. Who knows? Y'all know how Moni is. She could be a shady so I'll get out. I have a question. Why does Tiffany have a Hollywood hump? Now y'all know that was the style circa maybe 2006. She had that hump going, going back into slick ponytail. And she was just on her saying how she doesn't believe Moni is a, a lesbian. The AD goes to her all the time about the relationship. AD says, why would I go to you? When you are horrible at relationships, at this current moment, you have five different men tatted on your body. I would go to my sister who knows about relationships before I would go to you. This does not make any sense to me. I was like, well, dang. And what else happened? Lastly, we have this whole thing with Zell and Mr. Ray. Now, show of hands... Who thought Zell was going to be cordial and give Mr. Ray a hug, a high five, a fist bump, an elbow bump, a I'm sorry. But did Zell not look like he could have been the fourth member of the Migos? Can somebody just, you know, agree with me on that? We had a lot of stuff talking, Ray J and Princess talking about them trying to get pregnant and how he didn't stop drinking a lot, he didn't stop smoking, so you know his soldiers are ready and waiting when the perfect time happens. We had Moni's and AD's relationship. That was basically it. The reunion was a lot better than the actual show. But what next week it seems like it's gonna be a little better, but I don't get why Zell. You know they ain't really don't condone a lot of fighting. They did a lot more on season one of New York when Christy like knocked Kimbella straight out the chair and was pounding her for a few seconds before security came along. But did you think that you was gonna come on this show and fight somebody and they was gonna bring you back for the next season? Masika wants to know how come I woke up, I went to sleep your friend and I woke up your enemy. How is it that you was ready to go ride or die for me, but since I didn't want to talk to this girl, you didn't flip the script. We had all this, but you know Zell, he's an opportunist to me and felt, okay, since Masika is not acting the way I want her to act, I'm going to go over here and switch sides and go over here with Miss Alexis Sky at this moment and be friends with her. Let Alexis Sky tell it that Mo Masika was, you know, impinging on her getting radio interviews. She was paying people so she wouldn't get an interview. She tried to pay somebody to say that she was cheating on Fetty Wap. It was a lot of mess between them. She says, I wouldn't pay five cents to get anything done with you, but y'all children are going to be siblings. The world knows this, but Masika said, you know, their children will never be siblings. But I just still do not understand how you get pregnant by a man who cheated on you. And has all these other kids. And we're not really sure if he can take care of them until they're 18. So that was the gist of on. If I left anything, guys, by all means, leave a comment or a video response. And like I always want to thank my subscribers and the people watching my videos. I want you to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And here on YouTube. This is Lady Cheek signing off. 
Have a good one.